All right, I'm the Flat Rate Master. Today we're going to take a look at what's going on around the shop. All right, first car we got here is a 99 Jeep Cherokee with a 4.0. Customer just bought it. It came in for an overheat, full inspection, and guess what? Head gasket is blown like crazy. So I don't know what they're going to do with it. It's done. I wrote it up for an engine. It's already got a junkyard engine in it. And the Cherokee is my ticket, by the way. Bam Bam took the part of the day off. Tahoe came in for a complaint of hard to turn the ignition switch. Uh, the lock cylinder was just worn out. Looked over the rest of the vehicle. It has pretty much been wiped clean. Uh, needs nothing, not even due for an oil change. So I got the lock cylinder in. I just got to put the covers back on and it'll be ready to go in the morning. All right, this is a customer that has a lot of history here. We've head gaskets on it. We've done a transmission. It's got a quarter million miles on it. Uh, we did the heads. It has a reman engine in it. So I did the heads on it, like 60, 70,000 miles on it. And then the transmission went out. It's on its second transmission, I believe. Maybe it's third. Uh, they're not driving it much. So came in for an oil change and uh, battery issue. I wrote it up for the power steering pump and pressure hose because they're both leaking. Customer declined. They're just doing wiper blades, oil change, and a battery. Uh, waiting for it to come in in the morning. Oh, and new battery terminals. All right, Chrysler Dodge minivan. This thing is a pile of junk. Came in, the power steering pump is coming apart. The rack is just pouring fluid out of it. The pulley actually broke off the pump because it locked up. I'll put a picture up of the questionable uh, repairs to the wiring system, to the starter. I had to fix that before I could do anything else. Luckily, because of the condition of this vehicle, the customer who is traveling from out of state, they're heading up to Tennessee, have decided to spend that money towards a different vehicle than this pile of junk because it is not safe. Ball joints are wrecked, tie rod ends are wrecked. Um, it's, it's just a pile. So it is headed to the junkyard. This F-150 uh, came in as a no start, uh, was diagnosed correctly by Zach needing a PCM. PCM was not controlling the uh, fuel pump. Unfortunately, we can't get anything but a uh, A1 Cardone PCM. So PCM got installed, programmed, and it thinks it's going 100 miles an hour when it's doing 25. We cannot correct it in that PCM, so we've got a new PCM in it now, and we gotta get it programmed in the morning and see if that fixes it, but yeah, fun. Zach is off, by the way. Uh, Billy has scheduled maintenance and brakes on this Mazda. Nothing real major, nothing real hard. Daniel took the day off. Billy has oil pan, brakes, and I think spark plugs on this Jeep. Eric's having fun with a Mini. Uh, customer bought everything, I think 15 hours. Uh, Air intake was causing a lean code, leak detection pump causing a EVAP code, power steering hoses leaking, rear brakes. Oh, and he got hood struts. He's also got a Honda V6 outside, needs an alternator, and the alternator failed because of the oil leak from the spool valve, so he's got to take care of that in the morning. Cole has a oil change, resealing the timing cover and a tire rotation on this Civic. Pretty easy job. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.